Hey, Chad. Coming up in that situation, what's your approach there against James? Swinging early in the count like that. Yeah, uh, get something up in the zone early in the count. Um, guy has good stuff, but you want to get something up, just try to elevate a fly ball. So really just trying to hit a sack fly, just trying to put something in the air deep enough in the outfield to, to get a run in and, and kind of chip away at their lead. Did you think it was out when you hit it? I didn't know, but I kind of saw, I saw him drifting a little bit and the ball has been carrying here. And I, I didn't know off the bat, you know, I knew I hit a good enough for a sack fly and it just kept going. What's the feeling when you realize that it is going out in that situation? Oh, it was awesome. I mean, you know, right before that inning, uh, Ramon, Ramon got everybody up and got everybody fired up just saying this wasn't it. You know, we kind of talked yesterday about how the momentum, you know, when we score, it seemed like they scored back and, and, and punched us back and we hadn't been able to respond and Ramon kind of nipped that in the butt and uh, he had an incredible at bat by Simi and then another great at bat by Tommy and, um, you know, put us in that position and um, just, it was, it was awesome. Gina Rubin. Can you uh, take us a little bit through what Ramon was able to say? Like, uh, was it in between innings or uh, yeah. how do you how to get you guys going? Yeah, it was in between innings. You could kind of just feel like when we got into the dugout, the energy was down again, kind of get that same like flat line feeling. And uh, Ramon was having no part of that. He was having absolutely no part of that. And, um, you know, I won't go into too much depth on what he said, but it, along the lines of this ain't it, this ain't over, this ain't our last game. Um, and we're not going to let it be our last game. Um, we've gone through too much and had too many good things happen throughout the season. And um, to leave here, you know, getting swept and we just got to keep getting to the next day. And that's that's kind of kind of what I got from it with, uh, you know, Ramon's intensity tangled in there a little bit. Martin Gallegos. And you've seen Liam Hendricks do some pretty remarkable things. Um, where does that rank to go out there and give you three innings to finish out that game like that? Yeah, that's incredible. Um, again, you know, Liam has been lights out for us the past two years. Um, you know, that's not easy to do. It's not e easy to do two ups, uh, but to go out there and do three ups and, and shut it down like that, you know, it, and when he's in the game, it, it, there's a calming feeling because, you know, he wants that ball and he wants to get after it. And that's, you know, not to say that everybody else doesn't want that, but Liam, uh, Liam is time and time again, just close the door in big situations. And that's the guy we want out there, um, you know, in the ninth inning and just happened to be the seventh, eighth and ninth today. Marcus Thompson. Chad, you've come up uh, big in these spots, you know, before uh, in, in the, the last series, too. Uh, what do you do in these moments? Do you calm yourself down? Do you get yourself hyped? Like when when everything is on the line and you need a good at bat, how how do you manage that? Yeah, I'm I'm more along the lines of calming myself down. Um, really, just try to focus on what I'm trying to do with the plate, what I'm trying to look for, uh, not try to get outside of that, um, and then you know try not to make the moment bigger than it is and. Knowing that, you know, we got nothing to lose here. I mean, we're, we're the ones with, you know, you know, fighting. Like, we, they have a two-game lead up on us. And um, just try to not put too much pressure on myself and, and just try to keep it calm and, and look for what I'm, what I'm trying to do. Did uh, Ramon kind of work against you there? Because that speech got me hyped. So, I imagine you were hyped. Yeah, I don't. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounded hype. Like, how do you get yourself calm after he, that? He got my heart rate up, and I had to calm it down before I got up there. I had good thing I had two batters before uh, before I had to get up there and hit because he did. Like, he he put me in the zone a little bit, and I actually just told him that in in the clubhouse. I was like, man, you you struck a chord with me, man, and I just got chills thinking about it. But you know, you need that, and uh, that was a pivotal moment for us for sure you know not even what I did at the plate but what Ramon did in the dugout and uh I could just keep getting chills all over my body because that that's huge we need somebody to step up we needed somebody in that moment to do that and he did and he let it out and uh that just speaks to the 
competitor that he is and how much he cares about our team and our season and what we were, we're trying to do. Janie McCauley. Hi, Chad. Are, are you able to ignore the, the hamstring at this this point? Are you getting extra treatment still? I mean, Bob, Bob said how remarkable it is that you've been able to come back from this so, so well. And um, even last series, you said it, it probably would not be 100%, 100% um, through this postseason run. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing everything I possibly can in the training room, um, treatment every morning and stuff post game and just trying to keep it at what it is. And, you know, there's some sometimes the series where I've gotten jammed up and had to try to leg out and and, you know, I got what I got. And, you know, I'm, I'm in a good spot right now where I can I can control what I'm doing as far as running. Um, and so far, it has not gotten it hasn't gotten worse on me. It's kind of stayed pretty stagnant as to where it's at. So that's a good thing. And um, just go out there and, and compete and pick my spots when I really got to get after it. James Ham. Hey Chad, you came in again today, and you were uh, you were number three in the batting order. Just how much does Bob's faith in you uh, sort of energize you and help you get through this this season? Yeah, it, it definitely helps out. Um, I got a text this morning, third base, hitting third. Um, you know, and that does give you confidence. Like it makes you like, all right, like you know. Everyone else believes in you. Everybody knows what you can do. And um, and then once that first pitch starts, you know, you got to lock it in. And, um, you know, having the support of my of the coaching staff and, and the team and the team, you know, it's it's extremely important to me. We have time for two more. Ron Krojcik. Chad, to follow up on, on Liam, um, can you describe the look in his eyes? I mean, he's. He's pretty intense and crazy just going in the ninth inning to pitch three innings in a in a playoff game like that. What was that, what was that like? Yeah, I mean, you like you said, you see that look in his eye and you, you don't want to say anything to to pull him out of that. You kind of let him do his things and um you know, going back to last series when he had the two innings and threw 50 something pitches, you know, after two innings and he was at 24, like you just, you know, let him do his thing. You know, he he was cruising. He felt good. His velo was there the whole time. And when he gets that look in his eye, you just, you know, you let him do his thing. And you do that with all pitchers. I mean, you know, you know the ones that you go pat pat him on the butt, but, you know, you let Liam go compete. You know, he's he's done that. And we'll finish with Melissa Lockhart. You talked about Ramon's speech, and was it big for you guys to see him get a big hit in that game-winning rally, um, just given how he struggled and the fact that he was so inspiring? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Like that, We have the big inning there to get us back. Grossman draws a, a big walk, um, and then Ramon comes up with a big hit to put two runners on in scoring position. Um, and then I believe next up is Murph. Is that Murph with the sack fly? I mean, that that's just like that's just really good baseball um, to close out the game there. Situational hitting, um, and you know, that's, it, it was big for him to do what he did in the dugout and to rally us all together, and then come through with that double. I mean, it just shows like in the big moment he's going to be there and he's going to pull us out when he thinks uh, you know we're we're a little down. Thank you, Chad. Thanks, Chad.